as far as the weight training population, if you have somebody who lifts a house since they're a fetus, okay, which there, there may or may not be a few people in this room that have done that, the joint will break down. The shoulder was not made to be a weight-bearing joint. And when you bench press heavily and you lift a lot of weight, you create a weight-bearing joint. It doesn't matter how strong your muscles are as your prime movers if your joints are shot. And this was really illustrated to me a couple of months ago, something I knew, but it hit me like a ton of bricks. I was doing some rounds with a, a, a friend of mine who's an orthopedic surgeon. He had a patient come in, guy was 43 years old, took his shirt off for the exam. I was like, wow, guy's 43 years old. I said, I hope I look like that when I'm 43. You know, guy's in great shape, right? And then he put up his MRI. And I took a look at his humeral head. And his humeral head was almost flat and had claw osteophytes. This guy had been bench pressing since he was like 15. Okay, had like a max bench press of 425. Okay, so he'd been moving quite a bit of weight and he'd be doing it over time. He didn't even know what a rotator cuff was until he started having symptoms. Okay, then he was unfortunate enough to have one of those claw osteophytes break off and slide down the sheath of his long head of his bicep tendon. So now it's lodged within the synovial sheath on his bicep tendon, okay? And the only option for him is A, live with it, B, have a shoulder replacement. And the history on shoulder replacements is not good. So he's just gonna suck it up as long as he can, okay? So basically, if your joints are shot, it doesn't matter how strong your muscles are, right? So in order to preserve the joints, you need stability. I think you heard that term yesterday a few times. Okay? And stability is wide ranging. You can have gross instability, which means dislocation. You can have recurrent subluxation, right? Mel Gibson syndrome. Okay, right? You walk around dislocating your own shoulder. Then you have more subtle instabilities, right? Where the rotator cuff and the scapula don't function properly, and it's, that humeral head does not stay centered in the glenoid. It starts to migrate. And it's that type of instability that causes that chronic migration and eventually causes wear and tear on the humeral head when it's under a tremendous load. I think if you're bench